Hello, welcome to today's math class. Today we have this challenge before us here. How do we solve this challenge here? x to the power of 3 equal to 3 to the power of x. This is a simple one. Um, many looking at this challenge, you discover that uh, 3 is one of the roots uh, because here we have to solve for uh, a minimum of 3 uh, roots to this uh, challenge here, okay? Minimum of 3 roots to this challenge. And so if we got this to be 3, let's check if it is actually correct if we put in three here that will be raised to power three and uh, three to the power of three that will give us 27 and here if we put in uh three in place of x here so three to the power of three that is also 27 so uh, x equal to uh, three is one of the roots to this challenge but here we can equally get infinite solution or roots to this challenge here i'm going to um, use uh, two methods in solving this one of them will just give us one of the roots which is uh, x equals to three and the other one will give us um the uh, pattern or the solution to other uh, roots okay so let's take a selection here from here now the question here is x to the power of 3 equal to our 3 to the power of x here. Being that we are having our uh, power on the left-hand side to be 3 and the power here is x, I want to eliminate this and also eliminate this. And how do I go about that? I will multiply these two powers together. Find the reciprocal of it. So the answer I'm going to have here, I'm going to raise it to both powers on this uh, question and so here yeah, we're going to have here x raised to the power of three or in bracket like i said multiply this by this will give us three x find the reciprocal of three x that will be one all over three x right this is equal to i do the same thing to this side here three to the power of three x or raised to the power of one all over three x okay then from here we apply a simple rule in indices which says that your um your a okay to the power of your m times n could be written as a to the power of your m or in bracket raised to n we can only bring this in and take this out to give us here our a to the power of n or raised to the power of m so we can use this to multiply this and if we do that what happened this three will go with this three and yeah this x will go with this x here so we are now left with our x raised to the power of one all over x equal to our three raised to the power of one all over three now look at what we have here now the base uh, alphabet and the base numeral here we have x as the base alphabet raised to one all over x again here we are having 3 as the base number raised to 1 all over 3 here at the power. So what it implies is that we can equate the base or we can equate the exponent. So if we equate the base, that will give us x is equal to 3. So from here, it also means that our x is equal to 3. So this is one of the roots that satisfy this exponential challenge here. Okay? All right. Now, we want to use the other method that we give us um, uh, the uh, method or that we uh, give us a solution to infinite uh, numbers of roots to uh, this expression. So, let's take it on this other side here. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we have our x to the power of 3 equals to our 3 to the power of x in here. Now, from here, this is what we want to do here now. I want to eliminate this three here. And how do I eliminate this? I'm going to raise both powers to one all over three. And so this is going to give x to the power of three or raised to the power of one all over three. This is equal to three to the power of x or raised to the power of one all over three. And so if we apply this rule, this and this will leave the system. We are now having x is equal to if we use this to multiply this, we're going to have 3 raised to the power of x all over our 3. Good. I just want to rewrite this expression in here. Applying a rule which says that if you have your e raised to the power of, uh, let's say, ln of uh, a star, 
this is equal to your star because this is ln base e and so this e will cancel out uh, the log ln base e there okay and so if we have this to be this i can rewrite this bringing in log and ln yeah because the essence of doing this is that i want to use the lambert wm function in evaluating this and that will give us um, a model that will enable us to solve for all infinite or more or less a good number of roots to this challenge here. All right. So this is going to give us x is equal to r e. Okay, this e please e raised to the ln of whatever we have here three to the power of x all over r three. Simple. Now this is log three raised to the power of x base three. Sorry, all over three rather. So this is power. Okay, let us see. Let's put this in bracket. So if we apply the law of logarithm, we see that if you have your ln of your uh, a, okay, all raised to b, I said this is equal to move this b back here. Yeah. Okay, so this will be b times the ln of our a. Okay, so we can move this power back here. And so this is going to give us our, let's take our x here is equal to our e raised to our x all over 3 times the ln of our 3. Good. So with this we have in here now. I want to divide both sides by the quantity on the right hand side. So I want to make this side to be unity. Okay. So from here I'm going to divide by my e raised to x all over 3 times the ln of and we probably do the same thing to this side. E raised to x all over 3 times the ln of our 3. Uh, okay? So let's just manage this here. So what happened? This, we go with this. So here we have 1, 1. Right? Good. So from this expression here now, I'm going to have here x all over uh, E raised to x all over 3 times the ln of 3 those bracket equal to 1. Good. I want to move this quantity backward here, or to the top here. And so we have another rule which says that if you have, let's take um, 1 all over a, this is equal to your a raised to minus our 1. Right? Good. So if we apply that rule, then we can rewrite what save I we have in here. So we're writing this, this is going to give us our x times, okay, everything we have in here. So we have e raised to the power we take minus, mind you, and the power is the whole of this. So this is going to give us um, uh, minus our x all over 3, this is 3 plus all over 3, then times the ln of 3 plus bracket equal to our 1. Wow. Now, there is something we want to evoke in here, which is the product log or the Lambert W function, Lambert WM function, which says that if you have your star, okay, times your e, okay, raised to a star, and you decide to take the product log, the Lambert W function, this is going to give you a star. Okay, so if this is true, it means whatever we have here must be equal to whatever we have in here. So let's look at this here now. We are having x here, we have x here. So the difference between this and this is just minus 1 all over 3, ln of 3. So we want to multiply both sides of the equation by minus 1 all over 3, ln of 3. So if we do that, this is going to give us our uh, minus 1 all over 3. We have x here already. Then the ln of our uh, 3 close bracket times our x times our e all raised to the power of minus x all over 3 times the ln of 3 close bracket. This is equal to, we multiply everything we have in here, same thing here. So we have minus our 1 all over 3, okay, times the ln of 3. 
All right, so let's manage this place here. What to believe is still visible, right? Okay, so with what we have here now, we can rewrite this expression. So this is going to give us our minus x all over 3, the ln of our uh, 3, okay, those bracket times our e raised to minus x all over 3, the times the ln of 3, those bracket equal to our minus our 1 all over uh, 3, the ln of our 3. Okay, we are headed somewhere, right? Good. So with what we have here now, you discover that what we have at the base here, same thing we are having at the top, uh, top there. And so we can uh, bring in the Lambert W function. Okay, so from here, we now have here the WN function of whatever we have here, our minus x all over 3 times the ln of uh, 3, okay? times e raised to minus our x all over a 3, the times the l ln of 3, yeah, close bracket is equal to, we do same thing, the LW function of our minus 1 all over 3, the times the l of our 3, close bracket here. Yeah. Oh, so what happened, everything here, we now give us here, our minus x, all over 3, the ln of 3 is equal to the WN, okay, function of our minus 1, all over 3, the, into our uh, the x. Okay, so we are looking for x here. All we just have to do is to multiply first by this uh, 3 here. Okay, so if we multiply both sides by 3 here, it's going to give us minus our x, the times ln of 3 plus bracket is equal to 3 into our w n of our minus 1 all over 3 uh, times our ln of 3. Good. Now we are looking for s. We just have to divide by minus ln of 3. So if we do that, we're going to have our x is equal to our um, minus because this minus and this we're going to use to divide this. So this is going to give us minus our 3, the WN of our minus 1 all over 3, the ln of our 3, close bracket here, right? Everything all over our ln of our 3. Now, what is N? Where N is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, da, 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 da. Okay, so that's why I said from here, we can get infinite solution to um, uh, the value of x that will actually satisfy this equation here. Okay, although there are some values that will not satisfy the equation, but from here, you can vary your, uh, your n, okay, so reaching from zero down, then you get so many of them. So one of the roots I got from here, when I substitute to have x is equal to our 2.47, eight zero five two okay this is one of the uh, roots i got when i substitute it into the um uh, formula here all right so with this we can actually get infinite solution to our x here for this uh challenge all right so thank you for being there you have a question drop it in the comment section see you in our next class